see, there's Caroline's. I walk by Caroline's every day. And look, Mario Pantone. I saw him yesterday. He was on OutQ. And I ran into him in the hallway. I really like him. Nick DiPaolo. Oh, he's fantastic. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? I'm just saying. But he is. Gilbert Gottfried. Oh, Caroline's is gone. And now I can just see. Ooh, isn't that up there? Can you see that? I can't tell. That's Puff Daddy on a giant billboard. Or is it P. Diddy? Whatever his name is, he's very hot. There's the studio and Deirdre's first. See her? Wave! There! Can you see her move? I have my glasses on. I honestly can't see a thing because I have the bifocals, but then you have to look at the very bottom. I think they're trifocals. I'm, you know, I'm 85 years old. I forgot my walker today, which was interesting because it's raining and I have a bad hair day. Did I mention that? Ooh, the scary, scary, scary OP and Anthony room. People were doing push-ups in there yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was a punishment. Yep, we're walking down the hallway here at uh, Sirius. This is what it looks like, see? Um, we're going to get a very uh, special uh, guest that we're planning to have in the studio later today. Amanda wants to know where we're going and we're coming up here to get our special guest. Do you want to come? Yes. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Wait until you see it. We have to escort this guest. It's not somebody that we can just say, no, come on down, down, right? Yeah, no. Actually, today I have the right lens. <laughs> yeah. Amanda brought it up, I didn't, because I told you I wasn't going to talk about it anymore. And if there's one thing I never do, it's beat a dead horse. Never. 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 Yeah, isn't that sweet? They just kind of humor me. Ooh, yeah. Are we going to get in trouble for this? For what? For taking it. Taking what? Look Look at who we're booking. You want to you wanna see our guest? There. <laughs> you will have heard this on the radio, so I'm not busting a secret, but... Isn't he hot? Look, it's the closest I can get. What do I look like, a big star? I can get freaking Howard Stern to come in? I can't, but I could get that to come in. Should you repeat what you just said? Because <laughs> it's an odd thing. You should smell the bathroom up here. It's really gross. Yeah, don't you wish you could smell the bathroom up here? It doesn't smell like what you would think. It, ha it smells like really intense static guard to me. What, the bathroom? The bathroom? You'll have to go into the ladies' room. It stinks. Uh, I'd probably get fired for that. Right, really bad static guard, huh? Yeah, but they have these machines that like spray the, spray orange the stuff. Yeah, yeah, like uh -huh. every 10 they minutes. Go, and what that is is chemical toxins that will create a buildup in our bodies. But it's okay. I think they're trying to be nice. Oh, I see my friend. Let me see if he'll be on my. Can I put you on my flip? There's my friend. <laughs> I think you did first and asked second. I did. Oh, How are hi. You? Congratulations on the show. Thank you. This is Maurice. He's the head of Dr. Radio, and um, he's let me get on Dr. Radio at least twice. So we, we shared like an him. office, but we're not talking about that. No. We did no. share an office. We did share an office, and many secrets. Shh. I'm sorry. We missed that. Uh, oh, here. Oh. Sorry. That's, uh, dear. isn't she pretty? Delicate. It's almost, she's like a flower, really. James, James, I think we've got it. I think we should take this one. Let me see. That's the same as the other one, but right? Yeah. Will you? Will you? Uh, you, wanna you want to pick up Howard? <laughs> I want you to carry our Howard. I have to carry Howard Stern downstairs. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> He's a guest. He needs to be treated decently. Do you think he minds being laid down? Oh, I don't think he does. I think he enjoys being laid down. <laughs> <laughs> See our booking, Lou? There's Lou. See our booking? Handsome. Uh-huh. Don't worry, I think we're all good. Call me from the Stanley Cup. Now, we're not allowed to tape while we're on the air, but here's the thing. We're not on the air. This is a rehearsal. So honestly, no, isn't this a technicality? I yeah. think we can get away with this. So um, since uh, uh, we can't really book um, Howard, we thought we would book Howard. And I'll tell some story about, you know, I'll say something. I'm going to refer back to last week when I said we were breathing the air of Howard. And uh, then I'm going to say something like, um, well, we have a special guest today, Amanda. Bring him in. Oh, 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 it's, and then I'll talk about how he's not really um, here, he's made out of paper, and then I'm going to, like, stand up like this, and I'm going to move back, and let's get him a little closer. Be careful. I will get him a little, why, why, uh, be careful why you think I'm going to hurt myself? No, one of these things won't come down. Oh, here we go. 
Be careful that I don't break Howard. Oh my God, what would happen to us? Would we get canned if we broke Howard on our first day? Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. So we're not, I'm gonna be very careful of, of the Howard and take full responsibility for the fact that I disconnected a little of the double stick tape. But listen, can't we buy some more and we'll, yeah. we'll sneak in here and, and we'll fix it, right? Oh my God, I swear to God, just touching him does do something to me. It's the weirdest thing. So, okay, that's it. That's a rehearsal. That is not on radio. This is not live. I am not stealing services because this is a subscription service and well worth the money. You get hundreds of channels. You can listen to Howard, you can listen to us, and you can listen to Octane. So I am not stealing service. There. Okay, we're three minutes to air, or less than three minutes now. Um, and we're all, uh, there's, um, there's James. And I'm sitting in a different seat so I can see the control room a little better. Not that you can actually see that, but we're, oh, they're just taking a picture. There we go. So, um, okay, I got nothing else to say. I just felt you'd, I thought you'd want us to check in because we're really close. Close. How does my hair look? It's two minutes. Did you hear that? That was Lou. Two minutes. Okay, this is for my blog. This is Morris Daniels and uh, Charlie Madison. And uh, you have to go to their website because you can't hear them sing here because I can't put it on here. I wish I'd had my flip in the, in the, in the thing. But um, do you want to make a? Can you play a second? Yeah. Look at this. Now, if it happens and it's not the actual one we taped, I'm not breaking any rules. <laughs> Go ahead. Stop it. That is Charlie Madison and Morris Daniels. CharlieMadison.com. You've got to go because you don't, it's like, you go, oh, you expect subway performers? And it's like, no, my God, these people are brilliant. These people, you really belong. Uh, your records belong everywhere. Don't you okay? Thank you so you're, much. I got a little yeah. artic like inarticulate there. there. Records. Records. I know. <laughs> Show's over. This is our meeting. How did, there we go. Were we happy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we liked it. I just thought that would be a good ending. Everybody saying yes. <laughs> when I thought yeah. I didn't give you something and I freaked out. Oh yeah, when we brought in the Howard cutout, I was looking for my Howard notes. Not that I work for notes. Um, and uh, Deirdre thought it was her. Look at her. Now. I She's was just pee. like, oh my God, she just threw the notes on the floor. What? I did. She didn't give me any notes. I was in a it. panic. It was a small thing. And I don't. And who found them? Uh, you did. Uh huh. Underneath she, my computer, because I didn't. I didn't think.